Hello friends, welcome to Hudson County TV. I'm Fernando Uribe with a special edition of the Uribe Society. The opinion expressed here is solely my own and do not necessarily reflect that of Hudson County TV, its producers or sponsors. Transparency and the lack thereof in West New York. That is the subject of today's hot topic. As recently as 2009, West New York Deputy Mayor Sal Acosta was issued fines for converting his two-family property into a six-family building. The fines have been mounting since then and are totaling over $500,000. Why West New York Mayor Felix Roque has not addressed this is quite disappointing. And furthermore, since becoming Deputy Mayor and Mayor Roque's Chief of Staff, Hudson County TV has learned that Sal Acosta is looking to pursue an ordinance that will allow this sort of conversion to be permanent in West New York. If this isn't the biggest example of a lack of transparency, then ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what is. Clearly, the residents of West New York are catching on to this little scheme and are trying to hold Sal Acosta accountable. Recently at a commissioner's meeting at Town Hall, I attended to speak with Deputy Mayor Acosta to try to address these rumors and what exactly is going on with this pursuit of the ordinance. Consequently, Mr. Acosta didn't want to talk to Hudson County TV, and what's even more disappointing is that Western York Mayor Felix Roque didn't want to talk to us either. Is this the platform you ran on, Mayor Roque? Both you and the commissioners emphatically were screaming to the heavens that you were promising the town of West New York and its residents transparency and honesty in government. Well, where has that gone? Clearly, this is an example where transparency isn't present. What I urge both you and Deputy Mayor Acosta to do is perhaps investigate what the word transparency means. For whatever reason, you're not practicing it. And not just only are residents getting you know, news of this, but so it's Hudson County TV. We'll keep an eye on this because residents need to know about it. And if they don't know about it, then they're powerless in this ever pervasive culture that could be construed as corrupt. I hope for your sake, Mr. Acosta, you give us some answers because the public demands it and so does Hudson County TV. Remember, you're a public official. You work for the residents of Western York. They don't work for you. Somehow that message has clearly gotten lost in a little over a year's time since the administration has taken office at Town Hall. And that is today's Hot Topic. Thank you for joining us. For more programming, please go to Hudson County TV and our website, HudsonCountyTV.com. I'm Fernando Uribe. Stay classy, everyone.